गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माई साइकिक प्रोडिक्शन विच आई मेड ऑन द इन्वेजन चार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द इन्वेजन रशिया इन्वेजन ऑन यूक्रेन एंड इट स्पीक्स लाउडली माई ऑल माई प्रोडिक्शन विच आर मेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द इन्वेजन चार्ट एज पर प्रश्ना ज्योतिष आई हैड प्रोडिक्टेड ऑन द ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दैट दिस देर विल बी नो ट्रूस and if the truce is possible it will only take place in march and april and there were very bleak chances of the truce and also predicted that after around <coughs> the after the 24th of september 2022 to 13th march 2023 will be the most difficult time for the brawl between the two countries and it can take an ugly shape there is the lagna rising at the time of the invasion is sagittarius and the lagna node is combusted it clearly shows that putin will not be able to win whatever he does may he may get initial success but in the long run he is going to fail because the lagna node is is combusted and there is a planetary war between Mars and Venus in the Lagna. When Mars goes in the seventh house after the sixteenth of October, two thousand twenty-two, then it will be the most crucial time. And if you look at the charts of Zelensky and Putin, both are weak. Zelensky is running a Mark Dasha, Jupiter Moon, a Mark Dasha, and Putin is running a Chidra Dasha of. Saturn Jupiter and then the dasha of Mercury which is almost near Mrityu Bhav it is not good and the eclipses in the 17 axis of the putin's chart where venus and jupiter are placed where venus uh, very in where the eclipses are going to take place in very close degrees so it is it is a difficult time for putin and in frustration he although the the possibility of using the nukes is remote because if you look at the second world war the planetary combinations for a nuke nuclear use are that saturn or mars has to have to be with ketu or rahu which is missing even at the time of cuban missiles 16th October 1962 Mars and Saturn both were in Rahu Ketu axis so this kind of combinations are not there but unfortunately and there is veda between Mars and Saturn so it shows the the war between them can take an ugly turn and Saturn in stationary mode on the 23rd of October will aspect Ketu and Ketu. It is a dangerous combination, and the same day it will also aspect Rahu. So, and the other thing is that on the 16th of October, Mars will aspect Saturn. Mars will aspect Saturn, and both will be in six eight axis. And as far as Russia is concerned, Mars and Saturn are the sixth and the eighth. Sorry. Saturn and Mars are the sixth and the eighth lord respectively, and there is Veda between them in the Rashi and Nakshatra Sangata Chakra, which is essential for war. So till thirteenth of March, I do not find any respite at all. And <clears throat> after tenth of May, Mars will go join Capricorn. Sorry, Cancer. and it will give again a eighth aspect to saturn and mars and mars and saturn both will aspect ketu that is the most crucial time you see after 10th of may 2023 is a most crucial time because then mars and saturn will both will be aspecting ketu so although the combination is not very strong but it will be stronger than the present position so this is all friends i just wanted to share that the
planetary positions as far as the brawl between Ukraine and Russia, there is no respect at all and things will go beyond control. And it is possible that in frustration, Russia, Putin may adopt some low intensity nukes, the possibility of which is very remote, but it is there. So this is all friends, I just wanted to share that the planetary positions are taking the whole world for a ride and the uh, positions it will impact indirectly the stock and financial markets also. So stock and financial markets uh, will be influ influenced adversely if the nukes are used. And I've also mentioned that due to Saturn becoming direct, the head of the nations and head of the countries are also going to suffer. So this is the time. It is not that Ukraine will win over Russia or Russia will win over Ukraine. Both countries will suffer a lot in the whole process. And I don't find any truce coming. It is only that Russia withdraws all his forces and takes a cool stand. But there is no question of any truce as far as uh, the, the brawl between the countries is concerned. It will prolong because Mars is going to aspect Saturn by 8th aspect of, after it goes in Cancer and then Ketu will also be influenced by both Mars and Saturn. So that is the most crucial time after 10th of May 2023. So this is all friends. Just wanted to share. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.